All right, so uh, it's the future now. <laughs> I kind of, kind of jumped the gun on this. I could have tied these two videos together, but y'all, I knew y'all was needing a little, little Maddie X in your life. You ain't seen me in a while. So, uh, what do you know? As soon as I gave up and said I was gonna wait and just order a torque converter, a dude finally commented back on the post. Uh, Somebody had a, well, a bunch of things happened. Two transmission guys were like, hey, use the use the inline six trailblazer converter on a mild V8, it stalls up to 26, 2800, which is about what I need. So that would work. Um, and those are like 160, 150 brand new from the parts stores. Well, I was like, okay, well I'll go out tomorrow, which is today and get one. Like midnight 12 15 this dude commented and was like hey i've got a, a 2900 to 3200 stall uh, daco converter i'll give to you for 200 bucks and i was like oh so he's here in town we're gonna i got old mr taco that boy he got his little lone star ram he thinks he's something he got his little twisty knob shifter i ain't never seen a paraglide <laughs> I ain't never seen a paraglide that's got one of them in it. A little too rich for my blood. But anyways, we're gonna go meet this guy. He's way across town, but it's a good deal, so we'll let him have the shorter drive. We'll go get some tranny fluid after that, and not to kind of come out of them girls with peckers. And we'll be all right, so enjoy the drive. So plans changed. Um, I know we talked about, I don't remember how much I said in the beginning of this video, but um, plans changed. Uh, I thought I was gonna order some stuff and a smoking deal came up in the wee hours of the night last night. And I ended up scooping up this converter right here. Uh, it's 2,800 to 3,200 stall. Dude said he used it for like a thousand miles. Uh, it's got nice clean fluid in it. So I believe him. He uh, he went from like a built small block Chevy to a like 800 horse 427 build. So he had to change his converter. So got a good deal on it. Um, my transmission guy, I blew my mind, but he was like, dude, use O'Reilly's or Walmart house brand plain old ATF fluid. He said it does a trick. He said change it at 30 grand and you'll be good to go. I was like, Psh. no problem. It's cheap ass fluid. It's like 14 bucks a gallon. So, um, went ahead and picked all that up. I picked up my, uh, safety neutral, uh, neutral safety switch or however, however fuck you want to say it. Gear selector switch, whatever. Um, picked one of them up. The one that was on here, uh, another big thing we've learned, which I didn't try to, this one was busted. The other one was fine on the old transmission, but um, 
GM from the factory, if you ever get a factory one, you have to change your neutral switch. They actually put glue inside the connector so that water and dirt can't get down in there because this part of the transmission, is, you know, catches all the dirt and shit that flies up. So what you actually have to do is get a heat gun and heat where the plugs connect into the neutral safety switch. You have to take a heat gun and heat that up real good and it'll actually get that glue gooey enough where you can unplug. What a lot of people will do is they'll try to unplug it and they'll rip the wires out of the plug or you can't get it out. If the glue's solid, you're not going to get it out. You're going to break it. Um, and what do you know, this one was broken. They like snapped half of the whole safety switch in half and had like JB welded or silica. I don't know what the fuck they did, but it was trash. So we went ahead and picked up a new one. It's crazy. The dude, they were like, it was like $32. I can't believe some of the parts on this shit are so cheap, I can't believe it. Like, the simplest shit is like, I'm like, man, that's an important part. It's, you know, critical to the vehicle working right. It's definitely going to be like 100 bucks. 30 bucks. Psh. What? So, that's cool. I'll take the break because we've been spending a little 50 extra here and 100 extra here that we didn't plan on spending. So, you know, the little breaks on $30 parts is cool. But I went ahead while we were in town, picked up that neutral safety switch, got some brake cleaner, because, uh, you know, you gotta have that. My old wire strippers that are like this style broke, but I uh, went ahead and picked those up and I picked up some looming, a couple different sizes, so. So what I can do now, plans change. It's Saturday, um, kinda, kinda busy today, but tomorrow, uh, old jamesy poo might be available and if he is man we can get in here and bump and grind get the converter throat on get it bolted up to the motor get those slung in and if if we can get that done tomorrow that puts us on the fast track because that will allow me to like i said finish up my wiring and cut the fuel lines and fix those and i have everything here to do all that so this is looking like a good week. I actually caught a break. I was talking on uh, the same Facebook post that I figured out that uh, this tr torque converter was for sale. Uh, a good tuner here in OKC, uh, Chris Bales, uh, commented on there. And I thought, I remembered his name. And I was like, oh, that's Bales, Bales Performance. And I was like, hey, you know, I do need tuning done. So I messaged him and he's, he's great. Uh, gave me a lot of uh, knowledge and advice. And uh, he's going to be the tuner I'm going to use. Uh, what he's going to do for us is I can tell him all the mods, what I did to the harness and all that. And, you know, the cam and all that. We're going to actually take the PCM to him and he can bench tune it for me for a really good price. I was kind of shocked at the price he gave me. I was like, wow, because when I tuned the Subaru, that was a $300 tune and I had to have a $500 access port. The 370Z I had, that was a $500 tune because I had to have a fucking uprev license and had to buy a license for my tune and blah, blah, blah. I've never heard of tuning that cheap, but he basically, the overall tune is going to be under $500. What we're going to do is bench tune the PCM. That'll give me basically a base map that I can get here, bring it back to the truck, plug it in, fire the truck up. Uh, it'll, it'll have me running smooth enough for me to pussyfoot it to Mr. Bales and, uh, he'll do the final tuning there in person. Um, but he said to do the final tune, I need to have everything the way it's going to be. So I need to have the AC charged and functioning. I need to have my, uh, electric fans wired up, um, which I need to get that situated. I didn't pick up my damn training cooler today. I'm going to go with one from O'Reilly's. It's like 50, 60 bucks, something like that. Um, they're not, they're pretty affordable. I didn't think they were that much. And it's a thick core cooler. It's a big upgrade from the stock one. And all you do is just get a universal barb fittings for here instead of doing the, uh, the hard lines. We'll just adapt barb fittings and just put hose. This isn't really high pressure, so we'll just put hose on it and do hose clamps and then hose clamps up to the cooler. And that'll make that process a lot easier. And then, um, yeah, so that's our update for today. Caught a big break. 
uh, today. Got a lot of good information, got a lot of good leads. Um, got tuning figured out, got our transmission situated. Um, so we're in really good shape. Um, I was kind of down last night and this whole week about stuff just wasn't adding up, but kept my patience and sure enough, everything came together. So everything's looking up. Um, look forward to some more wiring videos this week. Um, I'm trying to think. All I got left to buy is the electric fans and the cooler, the trans cooler. And then I have pretty much everything else. I have a fuel pump uh, out of the modern truck, so it fits in this basket. All I got to do is just take the bed off, take the, the sending unit out, the fuel pump basket, change out the fuel pumps, put it back in, good to go. Um, other than that, that's... All we got left, and we'll be running. I ain't worried about the dash for now. Uh, what? I'm, oh, another thing I gotta buy is a little. I'm gonna buy a little junk Android like 10 inch tablet, and then order that uh, Bluetooth dongle for the OBD2 port. That'll give me my gauges. So I'm not gonna have a dash for a while, but I don't need it. It's summertime, so I can just roll the windows down, and then uh, you know I got my blinkers and my lights are here. The only thing that the dash would have gave me was like letting me know that my turn signals are on and that's about it the tablet will give me all my gauges all speed rpm water temp oil pressure uh, everything i need to know i'll be able to, so i'll be able to drive the truck like that for a while so um that's about it for today like i said we little busy so i can't really get work done and james also isn't available so that takes away my biggest help uh he he is the biggest i'll say him and chris if i didn't have them this we wouldn't be anywhere near this far so they're awesome help um and they're they're we're the trio we're a solid team so um sorry that these past two videos have been mostly just talking but I want to keep you guys updated. Y'all have shown a bunch of support. So I'm so thankful for that. And I don't want to leave you guys in the dark. So I want to keep y'all up to speed and let y'all know what y'all look forward to here in the next week. So that's it. Y'all, uh, y'all, like I said last night, y'all enjoy your weekend. I just want to give y'all a little update today. And uh, yeah, keep your head up and uh, enjoy your time off for the weekend. Or if you're off indefinitely, then... Enjoy that. Make the best of it. Make lemonade with your lemons. Y'all have a good day. Peace.